Welcome back to Bug Pinning and Preservation 101. This is an excellent question. Give you a moment to pause and read. Can you pin something that small? Yes. I'll show a couple examples. That's not the issue you're going to run into with isopods. Even though they have that hard shell on the outside, they're kind of soft bodied. Their underbelly is relatively soft. That's what lets them roll up into a cute little ball. But it does mean that if you pin and dry them, they're going to become very brittle. You could still give it a try but it seems like they hold up better as wet specimens or with resin casting. As far as pinning smaller specimens, the key factor in this is using appropriately sized pins. This specimen came with that anchor pin already through his body, so I'm not entirely sure what size it is. But on this little guy, I can tell you the anchor pin I have through his body is a zero. I kept him for my personal collection because I found him already deceased and he's only about uh, three quarters of a weevil. I used him as an opportunity to practice pinning small. Average size for pins that most people use is going to be a two so a zero is going to be significantly smaller and they even go down to a double zero at that point they're so thin that it becomes kind of flimsy for even putting into the styrofoam for the most part pinning that small is just a matter of patience for super small specimens there's also a method called point setting but that's going to be a topic for another day i hope this was helpful and good luck out there